How you doing folks? Welcome to another walk with Harvey and I'm afraid he's not here again and that's because we're up the Antrim coast, came away for a weekend. Now the plan was to come in the van but uh, a bracket broke in the engine and it's a, a part that they no longer make. The van's only like six years old and they no longer make the part so they've had to send off to England to get one from a scrapyard so it's going to be about a week until the van's fixed. So instead of camping in the van we got a cheap B&B in Cushion, uh, Cushion Door Cushion Doll, and now we're in Cushion Dunn to do the walk today. We did a, a, a short walk along the cliff in Cushion Doll last night, but I left it too late to do any filming really. But I did get a couple of quick shots just before it got too dark, so I'll, I'll stick them up. But well, that's another walk for the, for the future, I reckon, as well. But this one we're doing today is in Cushion Dunn, and it's the Craig Award Cushion Dunn Circular. It's classified as easy. <laughs> So we've not got boots on, we're just got our walking trainers and stuff, so hopefully it is easy enough. It's a, I think it takes about two hours, two and a half hours, and it's about uh, five miles, eight kilometres or something. So yeah, it should be okay. But anyway, you better get on with it, speak to you in a bit. I just stopped by this tree because we, it was a really loud creaking noise, like something that was about to fall. I don't know if you can see up there, but the branches must have fallen into another one. It was really loud just as we were walking up, but now it seems to have stopped. <laughs> yeah, so that's us through most of the, uh, the foresty bit there. there were, yeah, there was a, a good bit of steep climbing just at the start but it soon levels out so I think that's as much sort of elevation or steep elevation that you, you get on the walk. There's a, little, um, there's, there's a, a bit where there's rocks that you kind of have to step over so it, yeah. like I, I definitely wouldn't say that bit's easy. Aye. Well it depends on your, on your walking uh, experience but yeah the all trails up class this is easy but yeah Rosie thinks that first bit was definitely more on the moderate Side. I would say moderate to hard. No. Moderate for you. Hard, hard and, and yeah. No, well, anyway, not certainly... Uh, Each to their own. Certainly not like, you know, <laughs> somebody with mobility issues level easy at the start there. So, uh, it, yeah. It has gotten easier. It's like, it gets easier it's, it's, once you get yeah. up the first bit of the forest anyway. But anyway, no, I'm not hearing this creaking anymore. Let's this keep going. Go now with it. <laughs> oh. oh, maybe you heard that one. Well, right, now we've got to this signpost where we're heading back down towards the road, I think. No, Rosie was a bit disappointed there. She thought we were going further up into the forest. She was complaining. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's the uh, path down. As per the arrow. Right, let's keep going. So this bit of the forest, it ends you up at this uh, 
bird watching hide by the looks of things. Oh, look at this, Rosie. <laughs> Quick. Here's the ground. What's the worst that can happen? Standing on your glasses. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, that was good. Out of all the unexpected things you want to find on a walk, rope swing has got to be near the top of the list. That was class. <laughs> on a sturdy tree. Rosie was a bit scared there. So yeah, I was got distracted by that. We were just on our way down to this uh, bird watching hide. Wonder if it's open. Oh no, it's locked. To access the hide, you've got to give them a call. Or you could just stand here and watch the birds. Dip, 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 dip. Uh! You alright? Right, from what I remember, it's down the road here. Let's have a look. Well, look at all the squiggles where we were on the rope swing. <laughs> so yeah, down this road. That's two kilometres, Rosie, so I think that's a quarter of the route done already.
Okay, so we've uh, just stopped off at McBride's in Cushion Dunn, and we're the only people in the beer garden. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Like, they sell beer from the. Yeah, on a busy night, they probably sell it from those wee sheds there. But I'm just having a coffee. Rosie's just having a sparkling water. What do you think of the walk so far, Rosie? Yeah, it's lovely. This bit's nice. Is I'm not so keen on just being road. Yeah, it. traipsing down the roads isn't uh, ideal. But yeah, it gets you to a nice place, so it's yeah. uh, it's worth it anyway. So yeah, after we've had the coffee, I think head over and just have another look at Harbour. There was a few camper vans there, but there's a big sign saying no overnight camping. So we're wondering. Can you or can you? There's people there anyway. So we'll go and have a look at that before we carry on with the walk. says the full due seat was erected by the Cushion Dunn and District Development Association 2013. Commer commemorates a local legend of love and tragedy known as a full due story which has been told in this area for over 200 years. The tombstone associated with the story may be viewed in the graveyard of St Patrick's Church, Craig Cushion Dunn. Right, go slow. Slow your pace and enjoy the pace, Rosie. That sounds like your type of walking. That sounds like my type of walk. <laughs> Just flying the drone there and a biker Bala was speaking to us telling us about another YouTube channel he follows and he'd always wondered about the drones and how they, they use and stuff. So as usual, I always, I always worry that I'm going to annoy people when I'm uh, using a drone when I'm out and about, but it turns out more people are just interested in it than, uh, than annoyed by it. But I was flying it far enough away from us there that uh, the droney noise wasn't annoying people. having a wee dip there, me and Rosie last night when we got down to the beach and Cushion Doll suddenly remembered Hello. we'd forgotten our swimming costume so we we're gonna go for a dip this morning. Anyway, I'll have to remember for next time. Another fantastic house there.
Okay, that's us back in the car. So that was uh, three hours, 24, 5.8 miles. I think that was right. Yeah, I'll double check that on the app there. But yeah, so that's a wee bit longer than it said on the old trails app. But uh, yeah, still. Yeah, but then we stopped. For... Yeah, we did stop for a good 40 minutes. So yeah, they said two and a half hours and it was nearly three and a half hours for us. But yeah, we stopped for 40 or 50 minutes to get a coffee and fly the drone about. So that accounts for a lot of our time. Now, a lot of this walk is on the road, but uh, when you're surrounded by the sort of countryside you've got around here, that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. But yeah, a good bit of road walking. We reckon about 60% yeah. was on the road. But yeah, Cushendon is lovely and and the forest, the Craiga forest was good as well. So yeah, definitely a walk worth doing. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, I try and do one of these every week. So uh, yeah, if you haven't done already, subscribe, give us a wee thumbs up. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Maybe Harvey will be here next time. All right, cheers, bye. Thank you.